everyone and thank you for joining me for another episode so today i have a very special frozen treat for you all i am right here at my king's ice cream that's right in denver colorado and the shop is named after lede the owner's son my king they offer many fresh and locally made frozen treat options if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when i post and if you are not new welcome back to my channel without further ado let's get into these frozen treats um so hey guys thank you so much for tuning in i'm here with the day and she is the owner of my king's ice cream so the day tell me a little bit about what motivated you to get my king's ice cream started so I was walking the neighborhood and I seen that this location had a for rent sign and I just went for it and I decided that ice cream would be an awesome opportunity for this location and so I went through the process of getting this shop created for an ice cream shop. Okay and um, we discussed it a little bit earlier but um, you named the shop after someone. Can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Yes, the shop is called My King's Ice Cream, named after my now three-year-old son. Um, it inspired me because I want to start creating generational wealth for him. Awesome. That's so important, you know. She's not only thinking about, like, you know, her future. She's thinking about her kids' future. And that's what it's all about. Definitely. It's about the youth. Um, so I read a little bit about your One Scoop at a Time initiative. Um, so just tell the people what your project is about that. Okay. So I created the mission, um, building the community One Scoop at a Time. I want to be able to reach people in a sweet way um, using ice cream as our um, main objective. And I want to be able to implement um, many different programs um, to help the youth, um, as in providing financial literacy, um, creating event spaces, and just um, getting the youth more involved, starting um, at My King's Ice Cream, um, more information um, later down the road. Yes, so if you are um, anyone who's knowledgeable on starting a nonprofit foundation, please get in touch with her. She would love the resources and all of the help. Um, so I also heard that you do fresh ice cream and that it is locally made. Um, so tell me a little bit, um, some of the flavors that you have available. Okay, so um, we have a lot of different flavors, but we only offer 12 at a time. We also carry um, dairy-free um, ice cream flavors as well. Our most popular flavors are um, the Superman ice cream. Anyone from Detroit, Michigan, they know about the Superman ice cream. We have a house flavor of the Golden Oreo. Um, we have a lot of different delicious treats, like we have um, dessert buckets. We serve them, um, we have a caramel brownie, cookies and cream, strawberry shortcake, and a few other ones. Um, but we're really known for our shakes. We create cereal milkshakes um, using a, a variety of cereal. Um, we have a strawberry shortcake cheesecake shake. Yes, it's a tongue twister. Anyone who can say it 10 times fast and come into the shop, I'll give you a free shake. Okay. And um, we have a banana pudding shake that has brought us tremendous business by posting it online. Okay. And I know my family loves banana pudding, so I'm going to have to bring them in here. And they're <laughs> going to be like, oh, they're going to rave about me. But um, <laughs> um, I have. So um, you are an ice cream shop in Denver, Colorado. What would you say differentiates your shop from other sh ice cream shops besides being a black owned business? Okay. Um, I believe that we're different because of our customer service. You can check our reviews. We definitely have a warm welcoming into our shop. We definitely want to treat everybody like family. Um, we want to use ice cream to um, educate youth in many different ways. We actually, excuse me, have partnered with um, different nonprofits for coat drives and um, like purse drives where we give back to the community. Um, I 
put together a um, young vendor entrepreneur event and I want to make it a yearly event possibly multiple times throughout the year but I have it in August it's going to be our annual young entrepreneur event where we find youth in the neighborhood that are looking to create their own brand or have already started through the works of their um, parents and we bring them in and um, we have a day where our customers and different people that they know they come in and shop um, from the young entrepreneurs so I'm definitely excited um, be looking for that around August of 2021 um, <laughs> so we'll definitely try to put something like that together every year um, it was an awesome turnout our first year um, but with us being a newer business and opening during the pandemic we definitely have a lot in store for the future. We just want to, um, you know, get the mask off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Following up with our young entrepreneur um, pop-up event, um, we also have a program where we're looking for youth um, that come into the shop and we they gain experience working in um, volunteering with us at My King's Ice Cream, um, teaching them different workforce skills and um, being able to add My King's Ice Cream to their resume um, as something that supported them um, to build confidence, learn customer service, being able to um, have fun when they do go into a job that they would like to be, um, to choose, and also um, just, just being able to give back to the youth. So um, to sum up, like this is the ice cream shop for you guys because you get great customer service. Where else do you know, like, you know, you can get decent customer service, but when people go the extra mile to like really make sure your experience was a good one um, from start to finish, it's really special. And also, if you are looking at having um, your children or any young people in your life, if they're interested in owning their own brand, please do get in contact with her. She's building many entrepreneurs here, and that's what it's all about. We are about to try some treats. And here I have the caramel brownie fudge swirl shape. Um, everything that I like, chocolate, caramel, all that good stuff. And this is my videographer, Brian. So Brian, tell us what you got. I've got the strawberry shortcake. And as you can see, there's actual pieces of fresh made strawberry shortcake up top. So I'm definitely going to get into eating one of those before I get to the bottom, as, uh, as I was told to by the owner here. So I'm excited to try it. So let's get into it. Mm. You said I need to actually try one of these. You should. Trying to take top off. This is good. <laughs> this is good. Um, it's chocolatey. It's rich. Very creamy ice cream. Mm -hmm. mm. And they make this ice cream here, so. What? This is town. And the shortcake's homemade. <laughs> this is really good. Really, really good. So if y'all want some creamy, rich ice cream, if you want some creamy, rich ice cream treats, definitely tap it. And fresh baked goods in your milkshakes. All right, so if you want some unique ice cream, some wild ice cream flavors, literally anything that I could have ever thought of to be a flavor, they have created. They have the cereal shakes, um, and we're going to show you guys some of the flavors that they are carrying currently today. And yeah, thank you so much. Of course, thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Thanks.